Hey, what's up, guys? This is probably going to be the best deck for you to push with Lava Loon this season. Uh, the Barbarians just got a buff, and it is very, very nice. So we're going to be going over games with this deck. Sadly, no more mastery will be gained because I already maxed it out. If you did enjoy the balance change video, that's the live push video. Just let me know which one you prefer. I feel like Life Push is more entertaining, but this one is probably more helpful for you guys to learn the deck. So smash the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys. That's that's why would I see? Man, all I'm saying, I really need to work on my intro game, bro. I need to work on my intro game, bro. <laughs> it's wild. Okay, so World Giant is in a lot of places right now, and um, you're gonna kind of hope that your opponent does have lightning however i'm going to show you two roll giant uh, replays today one of them has lightning one of them has fireball this one does have fireball uh so fireball is a lot tougher because once you play the barbarians for the first time then he knows that that's what you want to do and so basically he goes with a stupidly aggressive first play which i just fireball and then he fireballs my skeleton dragons and early this is very good if you can get your opponent's spell like in your mind because like if I'm playing the whole game not knowing what spell he has it's a little different in mid ladder basically all I'm saying is you might find yourself in a situation where you like go lava and single I just recommend not doing that because when you go lava and single and he pressures opposite lane you usually go barbarians and you just kind of pray he doesn't have fireball so instead of putting yourself in that situation you just play passively don't go lava early until you know what he's running so then you can see if it's risky or not you know what I'm saying and so anyways we're just chilling here we're down a little bit of damage but basically all that matters is we pretty much know what he's playing and so we will be able to make a comeback and here i just played that tombstone to stop leaking i know he has mother witch so i was prepared to go with the mega knight uh, mega minion at the bridge to see like did he have mother witch he's gonna play because he played really aggressively so i was thinking there's a chance he could go mother witch at the bridge um and so here I put a lava in front of there because what that's going to do is it's going to, it's not so much an aggressive lava as it's just protecting my mega minion so he can wrap up his defense. And so here I go with the zap because it kills the bats and uh, that way the mega minion has more health and the bar, um, sorry, the bats die as well so the lava gets more damage. And as you can see here, uh, it was a royal giant at very low elixir. And so I know he could just fireball it, so I'm going to go Tombstone and then Mega Minion instead. And basically, we still stop him from dealing a ton of damage. And also, he did wasn't able to fireball our barbs. The fireball is out. He used them again on, what was that, the Skeleton Dragons, right? I'm sorry, I just forgot what he used. No, he used it on the Lava Pups. I'm being stupid. I wasn't paying attention. I was kind of focusing on the defense there, but anyways... Your main strategy against fireball decks is going to be try and fireball bait for your whatever card you need the most. So I will try and go skeleton dragons by lava a lot because they're going to reap damage. And also on defense like this, they're going to be a very good play because your opponent has to fireball usually. Unless, uh, you know, he's got it out of hand. And as you can see on that defense there, his uh, fireball was not in his hand when i played the skeleton dragons now he cycled back to him but he also cycled back to the bats so i just decided to fireball zap because i knew a fireball would be a waste in my opinion for him to use it there and so here we could just wrap up some pretty simple defense and we go with the tombstone again and the mega minion i believe or maybe we, yeah we did two skeleton dragons because i was back to him so why not and basically this whole game is just me making him uh, not have fireball value. You can see I didn't roll or barbarians on his royal giant once, which is kind of your strategy there. Um, and the fireball decks, you're going to have to play differently because you want to go in more aggressively with lava pushes and make sure that you're only going in lava pushes when uh, he doesn't have like a counter in hand. So like what I said, uh, play passive until double and then you're chilling. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you what happens when he has lightning. And this is really just, uh... It, it, you thought the matchup, how I played it, was easy earlier. It's going to be so much easier when he has lightning. And it's going to be a little more tricky when he does have Archer Queen. Actually, let me know in the comments what you think is more tricky. F facing the Archer Queen or the Skeleton King? Because the Skeleton King, he may not target air, but he's definitely a big problem on the ground, in my opinion. He does just so much skeletons, even with the nerf, it's kind of crazy. 
But uh, as you can see, we just, again, kind of did the same strategy as we did last time, where we were uh, able to get his uh, air targeter out so that the Mega Minion could do a lot of damage on defense. And so there, I felt safe going with that because he is at pretty much no elixir i know he wants to pop that ability and so even if he did have fireball i didn't know for sure if he had fireball or not he's not going to have enough elixir to uh, look at he's at zero he's not going to have enough elixir to fireball them and so now we counter push with the loon because i know he's at very low elixir and his hunter's not back in hand now and if he had fireballed that we still would have gotten a balloon hit because he, uh, in order to fully counter a balloon, you need to fireball just the balloon and have it get knocked all the way back or else it gets a hit. And so as you can see now, we know for sure with the way he played that he does not have fireball, he has a lightning. So that makes this matchup a whole lot easier because we can just abuse the barbarians, which I love doing. Um, I think it's great. It's a great way to, uh, defend stuff it's probably like one of the best defensive cards in the game honestly because it just abuses people who don't have splash cards like that so as you can see here a little bit of a knowing play but we can just uh, make a minion there basically the tower is still alive it's not too low it's pretty low but it's not it's insanely low and so the mega minion for just three elixir is able to prevent us from those in the tower which is great and as you can see here I know he has lightning, so is he going to lightning this? No. So we're just going to go with a, a fireball zap there because I know going that hunter right there after going the royal giant on offense, he's not going to have enough elixir for lightning. However, if you guys uh, do know how to count elixir and stuff, don't do that play if he did have enough for lightning. And he just gave up here, I believe. You're just able to three crown the guy. And that's just how easy it is to beat lightning decks with no splash cards and stuff like that. So. On to the next one, which should be a little bit more beneficial. So I've been facing a lot of bait with this deck. Um, actually, you know what's kind of funny is I haven't faced like any normal log bait with this deck. I've kind of just faced a bunch of... I, I mean, they're not off meta. They're they're definitely on meta, just not normal log bait decks. I faced a ton of them. It's actually crazy. Uh, but so there we do go with the tombstone. It's, it's a little aggressive, but we have, we have the barbarian. So I was just willing to just, you know... The Dark you don't have time to react to the Dark oh, man. You should give him a two second deploy time or something, because you do not have time to react to that man. You just, whatever you have in your hand, just put it on it. This is crazy. But, he mirrors it here. I was just completely thrown off guard by this. I, a terrible fireball. I missed the Dark Goblin because my hand slipped. And we are, even in Elixir, and getting shredded. Now, as you can see here, we have to go with the Mega Minion. I did not catch it in time, and it doesn't even one-shot it. And it was just such a horrendous start. If I could go back and fix that defense, what I would do is probably... I would still go with that Fireball in the Dark Goblin. Let's see. Let's see how I would replay this. So, we got this coming in here. I see that. We're definitely probably Fireballing that. My problem was, I guess I tried to hit the, the Skeleton King too, but what we could have done is just fireball the Dark Gum, the Skeleton Dragons would have stayed alive, and then we could have pulled everything in the middle of the barbs like we did. So as you can see, we're down to low health, and sorry, he does Goblin Barrel here and just take the tower. I just gave it to him. I mean, we're, we, we can't we can't defend that with our hand, and it's no use trying, especially since we're even in Elixir. So I guess that's a good tip for mid ladder and stuff. If you know you can't, if you get into a situation like that where you can't defend, just don't play cards. It's wasting elixir. And so this is a bad situation too. And he, I think he starts BMing as well. So look, it's just it's just an awful situation, you know. In hindsight, I probably wouldn't have gone with that lava, but I was. Pretty sure he couldn't take out my Lava Hound from taking a tower um, with, you know, the the Elixir advantage we're at right now is just kind of insane. Like, even though we're, we're, we were even before the Loon went down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 Elixir advantage on the board right now. I, I don't see him taking this tower. And I believe this is the first time he showed Fireball too, so I was really annoyed there. But still, you can't take this tower. Or you can't defend this tower. I'm sorry. So, we do not fireball the Dark Goblin because that would be a bad waste of elixir in my opinion. 
And so here we just decided to go Mega Minion, I believe. Yep, we're going in on the right side and we're just playing a little bit of defense and now we go Lava. Lava, the left lane, because we want to take care of the left lane and we actually, I believe, went Skeleton Dragons. Yep, they killed the Dark Goblins. And then we sacked the Goblin Barrel, Barbarians on that, and a Zap as well. And just like that, all you need to do in that situation I get somebody who doesn't have an insane pressure card, take out their support unit, which in this case was the Dark Goblin, and then get your spells ready so we were able to zap the Skeleton Army. And now look at this. He has Fireball, but stopping this is not going to be easy. We are going to hit the Fireball there, and we go with the Skarmy, I think, or Skeleton Dragons immediately, because I knew he couldn't uh, re-Fireball unless he wanted a Mirror. And if he mirrors the fireball, that's a little bit of a bad decision for him, especially because it's a negative trade. So he went like this, and then what happened was really nice. I'm going to slow it down for you guys. We are going to zap as soon as we get enough elixir, and it's actually going to prevent the skeletons from dying. My skeletons. And here we go. We're going to speed it back up, just like that, a fireball. And I know with that play, he was at zero elixir, so there was nothing he could do about it. Great plays. Theoretically, I should not have gotten into that situation. I could have avoided it by not going with that lava, but that's still something I'm trying to work on. All right, here's a, uh, it's, it's, it's a, um, once you get this matchup down, it's, Pretty, it's you can win it consistently um, I won't say it's easy because for new players it, you know you make one wrong play and it's it's really just over this whole matchup is patience patience calm I know you have the lovely lava loon combination do not use it in single if you see a sparky do not go lava ever unless the one situation where I mean don't go no not don't not I don't mean don't go lava ever I mean, don't go lava and just in the back randomly against these matchups. Here I did it because of what we talked about earlier in the video versus RG. We're protecting my Mega Minion because when there's lava in front of the Mega Minion, it's going to play offense and defense at the same time. And so here he's playing a bunch of cards to try and stop my Mega Minion. But all our, our whole goal was just to stop the Sparky with the Mega Minion. And that lava, you can think about it as a defensive play. To keep my uh, Mega Minion alive. And as you can see here. He's going to use the arrows. But not before we were able to get his tower down to 2100. Which is just off the bat. Look at that. We didn't even play aggressively. And we're still up 1900 damage. And that's really the way you're going to win this matchup. Because um, you've got to basically. Uh, I mean the only reason really that I, I'm doing great in this matchup. Is because I actually know what he's running. He's got the Minion Horde. The Bats. And. You know, it's just, I've played this deck a bunch. you got to be a little careful that he doesn't have the mirror, but other than that, it's pretty simple. And so, basically, just uh, play passive until double, because in double, you actually have enough elixir to play lava and defense at the same time. In single, you do not. And so, as you can see, always when defending a giant mini P.E.K.K.A., go with uh, the Barbarians when the giant is already past them, so the Barbarians target uh, just the mini P.E.K.K.A. and then take it out. It's actually very helpful, especially with the buff. I think it's uh, definitely faster and nice. So as you can see, we, zap we zapped the Skarmy earlier because I just wanted to be Sparky. And I got Skarmy on my mind, bro. With Sparky, we zapped it because I just didn't want it to get a hit. I it didn't get a hit, but better safe than sorry. And so as you can see here, we are going to get the Sparky to shoot at those. Instantly, Barbarians come down. Then we're going to zap again. And just like that, we also pulled the mini P.E.K.K.A. dealing heavy damage to the giant. We took that tower on the left there. Just just simple lava. That's not really all you need. And just go skeleton dragons behind it um, if you don't need to defend. Because he's going to have to spend a 5 elixir for, to defend them. Or a mini minion horde bats type thing. And as you can see, we pretty much just defend this thing again with the zap and then the barbarians. And this is a pretty easy matchup once you get the hang of it. Many, uh, if he had Fireball, like Giant Sparky Fireball in this deck, still, um, probably my number one thing is, if he has Fireball, like a way to get rid of your barbs, don't do that lava. 
wait for him to finish his push and uh, maybe lava in front of like skeleton dragons or min mega minion that survives the defense so if you like the video hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow